Live from the manual control bunker, grab a bag of peanuts and a cold glass of prune juice. Pull up a stool and prepare yourself for de 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 Dextra's Daily News. A solid two hour long log of hot, steaming gameplay from my favorite employer, Man, 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 Dextra. Greetings, mercenaries, mech warriors, and the merely curious. Manus Dextra here with another episode of my complete walkthrough for Mech Warrior 5. So, in this episode, we're going to start off with the trader quest line, and then we're going to find a high level conflict zone and put our newer battle mechs to the test. So if you're watching this in the future, feel free to check the description for timestamps to various points of interest. Also, pro tip, for some unknown reason, I tend to talk really slowly sometimes in the afternoons, but if you click on the settings in the lower right corner of the video player, you can set the playback speed as high as you like. I usually crank it up all the way when I'm doing the timestamps, but uh, for now you'll just have to saddle up buttercups as we get going. Alright, so hey to uh, everybody who showed up to support the chat, or uh, and uh, stream i guess <laughs> and anyway we're gonna jump right in here and do the trader which is just a couple of drops here and then we're gonna go like i said we're gonna go uh find a high level conflict zone and uh test out our uh hatamoto chi and uh the uh basilisk that we uh got at the end of the last stream for uh, completing the uh, I believe it was the bring her home quest line so uh, yeah we're gonna jump right into it so a once noble mech warrior marched into battle under the flag of the draconis combine this warrior represented the best of Cretan ideals, bringing honor, loyalty, and courage onto the battlefield. Unfortunately, this warrior has abandoned the Bushido Code. Not only did they lose their way, they corrupted other sons and daughters of the dragon with their false promises of Davian protection. These defectors have crossed the enemy border and are currently beyond our reach, but they are not beyond yours. Two star systems house known Cretan defectors. We request that you raid both worlds and purge them of these cowards. The arm of the dragon's justice is long and with your cooperation and your cooperation shall extend its reach even farther. Yep, we take care of those defectors for you. And so, yeah, we got a couple of these two drops right here. All right. Yep, I guess we'll uh, take what we can get for this one. The weather's really kicking up, Commander. Your visibility will be limited out there. Yeah, it looks like we need to uh, shed quite a bit of weight here. I think we can get down to 200 tons. Yeah, I'm surprised how uh, how good this Kentaro is in the hands of the uh, of the AI, but it does does pretty well. So I think we'll keep it out and use it. All 
And uh, even the trebuchet does all right. So I'm still still on the fence about the uh, about this enforcer here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna give it we're gonna give it another chance. Yep, I'd say that is a solid 200 ton lance right there. Especially since I could probably take care of uh, pretty much everything I'm going to encounter in the blackjack. Yep, I think we'll drop just like this. I'm showing nothing on Scorps that can be identified as our targets. We'll have to move on to the next nav point. Our target, David Asumi, is allegedly the orchestrator of this little defection. No doubt House Carita wants to make an example of him, but they don't dare operate in this system out of fear of causing an international outcry. So that's where you come in. Target acquired. Target down! Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Nice to have some extra ballistics. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. A couple little technical difficulties. Maybe we got it figured out. Chill map. Close map. Alright. Enemy mech in the area. Well, yeah, so much Ango. actual target behind us. Target destroyed. All right. New target, Griffin. Well, yeah, so much in go. We'll go. Focusing fire. Somewhere. Oh, there he Oh, 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 whoa. Uh oh. Readings are coming in, and Asumi is dead. That's a confirmed kill. We fulfilled our contract, Commander. Let's get you out of here now. Yeah. Tango eliminated. Yeah, let's see if we get the heck out of here since, uh,.
We don't really have many salvage points, so there's no point in uh, sticking around trying to make any salvage. Oops. much in the way of equipment, but uh, some decent mech tonnage to be had. But he did reasonably well. Alright. Guys patched up and move on to the next job. <clears throat> Lucky maybe we'll get uh, get a contact with the uh, this rival Merc company here as well. Get a little bonus from the bounty hunter. We've actually gotten two good mechs from the bounty hunter so far. That uh, Firestarter A and uh, the Kentaro that we just dropped with. Which, like I said, the Kentaro, I'm surprised at what a good mech that is in the hands of the AI or... A commander. All right. So, one of the traitor subcommanders has taken refuge among the Blue Star Irregulars, a mercenary force long in the employ of the Federation's sons. This cannot stand. Track and eliminate this turncoat to send a clear message to future potential traitors. All right. You can do that. We'll just go for our meager salvage again. Yep, I think we'll drop with this. All right. Today's target is Tai'i Hester Troy. He's defected from the Draconis Combine and is now working as a mercenary among a group called the Blue Star Irregulars. This is a big bounty, so let's cash in on it. Show map. Close map. All right, looks like we got two places to check. Looks like we got some bad intel. Our target is not here. Let's hope we have better look at the other locations. Show map. I think we're gonna skirt this uh, area if we can. Show map.
Oh. Well, yeah, it's only two go. Affirmative. Commander target is now priority. Target is I should eject. Ah, shit. I feel like we drew those guys out from that other. New target, Shadowhawk. One more mech out for the fight. Target is destroyed. From that other location, anyway. It's alright. Target sent to hell. Hmm. Target trebuchet. Well, yeah, it's on the tango. We're on the commander. Target destroyed. Get the target and bug out. Target acquired. Oh, yeah, so much tango. All right, Hester Troy is dead, and our Draconis employers will surely be happy. Now, get to the evac so you can live to cash that check. Now, let's get you all home. Head to the evac points. Yeah, looks like we got a drop ship coming in over there, so. Who they dropped, but. New target, Vulcan. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Destroy. All right, so that's one more quest down, and I think I think there is a conflict zone just north that is like a level 14 or 15 or something like that so we'll jump up there and uh see if we can find uh some high tonnage drops and uh try out the uh basilisk and the uh hatamoto again mm. And not much to choose from here. Yep, looks like everybody did all right again. All right, the defector and their associates are dead. Put down like mongrels. Without honor, they are worse than Ronin. Their dishonor will be a stain on their descendants for generations to come. You are welcome to their supply of surplus Davian goods, the Draconis Combine has no need for such filth. Well, it's pretty, pretty puny, but I guess, uh, I guess we'll take it. All right.
Yeah, I think. Yeah, it looks like this is probably going to be our best bet for a high tonnage contract. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and stop off in the industrial hub just for the hell of it. we could do without that raven for now go ahead and check out the equipment looks like we can do without that too yeah I um, guess we ought to go ahead and get our repairs started Yeah, we'll check out the, uh, check out the cantina before we leave the industrial hub. So I think I still need to complete one more mech hunter mission before we get that maxed out. Yeah, I think we can do without those. Make sure. Yeah, it should just be like one more mech hunter mission. We got <sighs> one more Orion is all we is all we actually need there. And we got a couple of others in the queue just in case, but hopefully hopefully we'll be able to run across an Orion and finish that out. Alright. I guess might as well check equipment while we're here. Oh yeah, let's yeah. Guess we ought to see what we've got for contracts. And mm, see what we got here. We'll do that. We do that battlefield contract. And might even do that. We might even do that uh, multi mission. That or a multi drop operation there too. We'll have to see what the terms are. Wow, that's uh, four drops. I don't know. 
Let's see, assassination, battlefield, war zone, and battlefield. Yeah. That would be a pretty good test of our bench right there. I think we ought to be able to handle it. And I got 16. Got 16 mechs out, and most of them are pretty heavy. I'll, or I got three, basically got three heavy and assault lances here. I think, uh... <clears throat> I think we're gonna I think we may try that. Let me uh let's double check and see what the terms are on the uh on that contract. Yeah. We'll do this one first and then yeah, we may stick around and try that uh four mission operation there. That would be That'd be pretty interesting. That'd be fairly tough too, but we'll go ahead and do this one first. Yeah, we'll go ahead and crank up the salvage. We got plenty of sea bills. The mission area is under heavy weather warning. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. All right. So I want to try out the... Uh... Is that at the Victor? I think I'm going to go... I'm going to drop in the Victor... So, this guy right here has been shaping up to be a pretty good uh, support mech. So, we're going to drop with it again. And I think we're going to go with... We'll do it like that. Oh, I need to double check my uh, weapon groups on the Victor here. I think we'll do it like that. Let's see, so we got SRMs, lasers, and UAC fives. All right. Commander, enemy forces will inevitably overrun this area, but we have been tasked with holding Armlock. them back for as long as possible. We have substantial combat bonus opportunities the longer you can hold them off, but be sure not to overextend yourself. And that's a steep cliff face. Show map. Liz map. This is just a garrison mission, so we don't have to worry about collateral damage here at the point. Enemy forces moving in, Commander. Get ready for them. Yep. Yeah, Only four of them. Drop right on top of us. New target, Dervish. Man, so much Ango. Incoming, 
is about to go crit. Incoming missile. Mech destroyed. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position, Commander. Be careful. So I like, I like it with the uh, UAC fives pretty well. We'll have to. Uh, I think I'm going to try it out with uh, heavy rifles too. But target acquired. Target sent to hell. I think the big issue is going to be ammunition. Scopes are lighting up with additional bogies, Commander. Tango eliminated. Although this thing, this thing seems to run pretty cool. New target, Locust. Uh. Target has been dispatched. <laughs> oh yeah, the Hamtaro chop strikes again. New target, Centurion. New target, Javelin. Additional Borg is setting an intercept course on your position. Yeah, we'll have to see how the UAC-5 ammo holds out. I think this thing's Target running pretty acquired. cool, though. We've got, uh, we could definitely shed some heat sinks and add some uh, ammo if we need to. Lance, I'm a tango. Invalid target. It's because I already killed it. Alright. Got nine more. New target, Marauder. Target acquired. Lance, I'm a tango. Well, yeah, so much tango. Lance target confirmed. Firing. Kill for me. Hell yeah. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Well, yeah, so much tango. Yeah, I think I'd like uh more targets converging on your position, Commander. Stay frosty. <laughs> think I like the Hamtaro there. New target, Highlander. Yeah. Show map. Close map. Well, that's on my tango. Requested target ID received. Engaging. Target acquired. Target mech eliminated. Target destroyed. Enemy mech destroyed. 
destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. to pick you up when you're ready for evac it's like we're doing okay here if we can run the score up we will especially if they're gonna deliver them to us in a drop ships like that oh yeah well yeah, that's on my tango Target and pop that blood bag inside it. Target destroyed. Target well, that's destroyed. That's my tango. We're on your target, Commander. Oh, shit. mean to get hung up on the train like that gotta try to go back around on top of this ridge I think I got one or two more drops to do to run up the score, and uh, we'll get that. Uh, get that uh, achievement. Hostiles inbound. Brace for contact, Commander. Yeah, Tino, I'm trying to. Hey, I'm trying it out with the uh, UAC fives right now. Although I think after this, we're going to refit the victor with a couple with a couple of uh, heavy rifles but yeah the uh, UACs are pretty good except for that it's like we're Destroyed. I'm afraid the UA. I'm, it runs really cool, though. I'm, I'm think we can. Uh, think I could probably add a little bit more ammo for the UACs if I need to. Target acquired. All right. 94,000 sea bills. Yeah, if I keep these uh, UAC 5s on here, I probably do need to add at least another ton of ammunition, though.
resistance is pulling in more hostiles from the surrounding area. Well, it's about time. All right. Get one more drop ship full of, uh... Oh, there they are. New target, Blackjack. Holy shit. Show map. Close map. Close map. Lance, on my tango. Firing on the commander's requested target. bug out yeah I like this pretty good looks like uh, yeah the Hatamoto is uh, is also doing pretty good I'm surprised what a good support mech it is it made a couple of uh, pretty spectacular one-chop kills on a, I think it was a I think it was a light mech and uh, got a medium too I don't remember what it was but yeah I like the I like Kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. Yeah, I really like the uh, Hamtaro chop. <laughs> I could even I could even uh, use it as a commander's mech if I had to. But uh, but yeah, it's it's it is a surprisingly good support mech, or has been anyway in my limited use. And the Basil Basilisk is pretty good, except, like I said, if, I, if I'm going to keep the UAC-5s on it, I think we need to add at least another ton of ammo. Oh, no, Commander. Time to collect our pay. But, uh, yeah, I think we might stick some uh, heavy rifles on it and see how they do before we decide if we want to go with the UAC-5s. Or heavy rifles. I think I've got. I think I got a couple of high tier heavy rifles to put on this thing. So, yeah, we'll try that next. Hmm. See what we got down here. Yeah, I thought about, uh, I thought about, um, trying the LB LBX, I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of LBX, uh, 10 solids, and I, I like those pretty good. We'll see, we'll try those on for size as well. Do it that way. It's not bad. Eighteen million, uh, eight 
18 million sea bills and salvage. Yeah, the Hatamoto is surprisingly all right because I didn't I didn't think it would be near that good. The uh, yeah, that Hero Atlas is a uh, murder machine as always. Woohoo! Got our achievement. All right, so. Move that to cold storage. Start repairs on these guys. All right, let's take a look at the basilisk. So yeah, I like it. Uh, I like it pretty well with the uh, UAC fives. That's nine tons. So let's see if we put. Yeah, that hot, that uh, Hatamoto. I'm not sure where uh, where I ran across that. I think I got that as in salvage. But yeah, that's that's one of the first. Let's go. Let's go back and look at that for a second. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna let us look at it. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I just I don't think I've ever seen one of those for sale in a. Uh, in a mech market anywhere. I happened to pick that one up on salvage just because it was the melee variant. Wanted to give it a shot, but uh Yeah, let's see what we're looking at here. Yeah, these. So that's eleven tons. Of course heat load's pretty low on those too. Mm. Hmm. Thought I had a couple of uh, higher tier heavy rifles. I guess not. Let's see. Actually, I think I do. Let me see. Yeah, I've got those got the other two high tier heavy rifles on the uh crab. I'm tempted to take those off that crab and uh so I'd really like to see what this will do with two high tier heavy rifles. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to Actually, I'm spending all this time. We ought to just go ahead and go over to the industrial hub and do this. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time in Cretan space. I think that's why I haven't I haven't ran across any of those. Oh, we got another king crab here.
Yeah, I think we're gonna pass on that one though. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy refit. So yeah, I want to try. Yeah, I'm, I am not averse to using the uh, LBX tens. I want to try. The, I want to try a couple of high tier heavy rifles on this thing first. And we're definitely going to need a lot more ammo. Yeah, that's the problem with heavy rifles is... Yeah, I'd actually thought about uh, I thought about swapping those guns up the way you were talking about on the crab too. I actually need I need to get in the I need to drive the crab myself and see how it see how it handles. I because the reason I put those the same uh, weapons on the same arms is because I thought it would help with uh, convergence. But yeah, I need to I need to jump in I need to jump in there in that crab and drive it myself and uh see how it works. Cause I cause I understand what you're saying. Yeah, that's that's uh that probably is a good idea. to spread the weapon types out like that so like you're saying i don't i don't lose all of one weapon type when i lose it if if i happen to lose an arm but yeah I, I like i said i think the reason i did that was for weapon convergence but i really need to jump in there and see how it uh see if that's even a problem with it at all it's probably not all right so I think I probably need so I think the biggest problem with this is gonna be being able to uh, stock enough ammo for these heavy rifles. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to try this. <laughs> I don't like having all that ammo in the torso, but... Uh...
And I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, about about that. I have to look at it after we get after this refit is done. I don't. Uh, And let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look at it again. Hmm. Yeah, see, the thing about it is... I think I would rather have double heat sinks. I think I'd rather have double heat sinks in the arm than, uh, I mean, I don't really have any room anywhere else. And I definitely don't want to put ammo in the arm because that's, that's a recipe for blowing an arm off for sure. <sighs> Let's see. We've got. That's probably, and that may be entirely too much am ammunition for those heavy rifles anyway, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead. I'm going to try it out like this. I'm, I got a feeling we're, I'm probably going to put the UAC-5s back on it or maybe try those. Uh, the, uh, what is the, L the LBX-10s? Anyway. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and come back over here. Nothing we can't live without there. Yeah, Tino, that's the uh, that's the problem with sucking up to the Davians early on, like I did. I was doing taking a lot of missions against the Cretans, so yeah, they don't uh, they don't like me very much. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and. See what we can do with these contracts here. So, wow. Beachhead assassination, infiltration. Yeah, definitely. I don't think we want to do that multi mission operation. Yeah. see what this contract is. Assassination, Battlefield, War Zone, and Battlefield. 
let's try this. This ought to be a good test. That ought to be a good test for the entire company right here, this four mission operation. And if we could pull it off, we should make a lot of money, so... Yeah, I think we're going to go like that. Yeah, if we pull this off, we should come out of this contract smelling like a rose. These are really, really good when you can get those bonuses. Heavy weather warning is right. in effect, Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. So, do we want to drop this first one like that? I think... I think we do. Let's go ahead and... You know, I'm going to try... I'm going to try... The... I was thinking about chain fire in the heavy rifles, but we'll see, let's see how hot it gets when I fire those both at the same time. Yeah, Tino, that, that's one of the reasons why I didn't load up on salvage so much there, because like you said, you could carry salvage points over, and although let's see, we had like th three of those were like battlefield and war zone missions so yeah we could we could have probably racked up and spit all of those spit all of those uh salvage points but but yeah i think this way we'll get i think we'll get plenty of salvage and lots of sea bills this way all right so yeah i think we're gonna drop it just like this Our targets have given our employer nothing but problems. We've been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. Arm lock. Show map. Close map. Hmm. Target locust. Well, yeah, it's on my tango. Copy. Commander's target is our target. We're gonna outrun the crab. Identification on secondaries. Watch your six. Target is down. Alright. 
quit messing around here. Oh, what the hell, man? The targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. We still got a secondary target to get. Forgot about him. Yeah, I don't know about those heavy rifles. I think somebody who is better at sniping than I am could probably do pretty well with those. But, uh, yeah, I think I may go back to the UAC-5s or the... The, uh... Yeah, shit, we're getting too beat up here, too. Damn it. Well, Atlas got beat up a little bit more than I'd like it to, and yeah, I, I don't know, man. These uh, heavy rifles, 
They probably aren't good for somebody who's a better marksman than I am. Yeah, we may have to try those. We'll try the LBX. We'll, we'll try the LBX 10s when we get the chance. I, but, yeah, I think those heavy rifles, if you're a really good marksman, they probably... You could probably use those pretty well, but... Uh, yeah, they just don't fire fast enough for me. Whoops. Yep, that works. Hmm. Completed one of four. So I think we can leave the uh, ham taro in there. I think the ham taro and the. Uh, Crab can stay. Rotate those out. Yeah, I have flown. I, I haven't uh, piloted the uh, Corsair for a while. That works. We still got three more drops to do, so. We have the opportunity to pull off a big pair day if we can maintain this position beyond what our contract stipulates, Commander. Armlock. That said, Farhad will never shut up about it if you mix return to the hangar looking like Swiss cheese. Show map. Good luck. Close map. Commander, uh -oh. our mutual employer has sent us to reinforce you. Uh. Lead the way. Cool. Welcome to the cakewalk. Show map. Show map. Close map. Yeah, got that uh, speed upgrade going on the Corsair now, so you can see that blazing fast 55 kph. Show map. Close map. Close map. Oh man, it's not where I wanted to go. And to avoid that damn canyon.
Show map. Show map. Close map. Yeah, that's the only bad thing about having big old assault mechs with no jump jets is when you're in difficult terrain like this, you gotta walk around. Gonna be able to shoot at him down in this hole. <laughs> Damn, they actually set some pretty nice backup. Well, yeah, so much tango. We're on your target, Commander. Target acquired. Crap. New target, Panther. Target acquired. Lance, I'm letting go. Lance target received. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh. <laughs> this is not good. I'm pretty sure I cannot get up this ridge anywhere. Show map. Show map. Close map. Target acquired. Yeah, like I say, I, I appreciate the uh, the maps with the really rugged terrain, but uh Sometimes it sucks. I <laughs> like this, man. When you can't get a uh, can't get a fire lane, and it's gonna take forever for those mechs to get here to us. I guess we're gonna have to ah crawl up out of this damn hole and go get them. Let's see which ways. What's the best way to get out of here? Probably over this way. 
show map. Close map. Ah, it looks like they're coming down this. Looks like they're coming down the valley over here. So I guess we can go ahead. I guess maps like this is why it is good to have jump jets on uh, mechs sometimes. Show me resistance is pulling in more hostiles from the surrounding area. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Ah, close map. Oh man. Ah, get the hell out of my way, guys. Oh yeah, these canyons suck, man. God damn it. Ah. Over that uh, reactor explosion. Target acquired. Uh, it won't be so bad if. Uh, target destroyed. If they keep dropping right on top of the target, but. Uh, My scope is lighting up with more targets converging on your position, Commander. Stay frosty. Target acquired. Target destroyed. All right, here's some helicopters coming in. Add one more to my kill count. And we got these two coming down the. Uh... New target, awesome. Uh. Uh, 
Show map. Close map. Show map. Close map. Yeah, problem is the way this damn map is and the fact that uh, you got enemies coming in from all kinds of different directions there's I mean there's no good there's no one good place to set up like right now it looks like they've gone the it looks like the enemy kind of went stupid and they're just milling around up on this ridge ah Yeah, like I said, I do like this rugged terrain. I think it's a lot more I think it's a lot more realistic and interesting on these wild planets, but yeah, it definitely uh makes it hard to get around in big slow assault mix, which I guess is kind of the idea of it. But uh but yeah, this map is a giant pain in the ass. Some of the tango. Yep. Cannot acquire target, Commander. Yep, knew you're gonna say that. Let's walk all the way around out here to kill these guys, and then we'll have to we'll probably have to walk all the way back down. Well, yeah, it's on my tango. Group target acknowledged. map. Close map. Alright, we're going to try to stay up out of the canyon and see... If you find the acquisition, just Chill walk up to it in order to pick it up. Chill map. Close map. The 
That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. We'll be sure to put that ammo to good use. Jump up. Jump up. What is map? New target, Phoenix Hawk. Show map. Show map. <laughs> Close map. Ah. Target acquired. Well, yeah, it's on my tango. Affirmative. Commander's target is now priority. Show me up. Show me up. Is. Get, get this last mech and then Brianna will probably make us walk five clicks to, uh, Get to the Yxville point. Jump map. Buzz map. New target, Hanamoto Chi. Ah, uh, you gotta be shitting me. <sighs> ah! Son of a bitch. <laughs> so I guess it must have ran it must have walked all the way around the other side while we were walking around to get those last three. Yeah, I take back everything I said about the rugged terrain. Whoever's idea it was on the dev team to make these high cliffs and canyons on the on the maps all over the place needs to be kicked in the balls repeatedly. Ugh.
Lance, up my tango. Copy. Engage commander's target. It's probably from this position they can't even shoot LRMs at it. Yeah, Stick no. As long as you like, but don't get too overconfident. Yeah, Enemy definitely not. Have a sizable hold of this area. Fall back to the mark now point when you're ready for evac. Yeah, we want evac right now. I can't get the hell off this planet soon enough. Ah. Incoming missile. Nope. New target, Cyclops. Don't care. Yeah, I wouldn't have your rifles. Those are AC 20s, and yeah, I'm definitely, definitely out of practice with AC 20s. And, and uh, I'm even worse with heavy rifles than I am with the AC-20s. Oh, you gotta... Man. Damn this map. Ah. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, skipping around with a bunch of different mechs when you're used to uh, when you're used to specific fire groups and specific types of weapons. It is and especially if you're something if you're going to guns that have you know big high caliber guns with. Uh, lower muzzle velocities yeah getting dialed in figuring out how much you need to lead a target is pretty tricky yeah I'm a lot better I'm definitely a lot better with SRMs like uh, less than 400 meters with, with uh, as many SRMs as I can fire at one time Yeah. 
But yeah, I just really need a little bit, a little bit more practice with the uh, with the Corsair, and I could get good with it again. Our window for extraction is closing. Let's get out of here. It's like we're still doing pretty good on mechs. We got two more drops to do. Hopefully the maps will be a little bit more accessible. And looks like the uh looks like the king crab and uh King Crab and the Atlas D are Still fresh enough, fresh enough to drop again. Yeah, John, you're not wrong about that. You really need to, uh, you know, if you're going to be, if you're use, especially if you're using projectiles like that, you need you need to understand what what their uh, yeah the angle that they're coming at, and yeah, if you can shoot them head on, or or make sure they're consistently going in a direction. It definitely will help your gunnery a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, we still got, I think we still got plenty of mechs here to finish everything out with. We'll go ahead and drop these two out. Crab and the Atlas are doing fine. Yeah, I think we'll pull out the Zeus if uh, that gets wrecked up too bad. I'll still have I'll still have the Archer to drop in on the last drop, so. I think this ought to be fine. But yeah, I prefer guns with uh, faster muscle vo muzzle velocity, so... Which the LBX-10 or UAC-5s are... Systems Allied forces are attempting to withdraw from this area and need us to screen their retreat. We're to link up with the remaining friendlies screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long as possible. We have an opportunity for Arm a block. hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the enemies back. Enemy mech in the area. New target, Panther. Target 
Target acquired. Target destroyed. Commander, you've got the Ops Boys' attention. They are converging on your position. Brace for hostile mm. contact. Yeah, this is more like it. That's a mech approaching. Here we go. Tango spotted. New target, Centurion. Target acquired. Additional forces entering the engagement area, Commander. Be on the lookout for them. Well, on the upside, that, uh, that Orion we just downed, that ought to be, uh... One more Cantina mission complete. New target, Javelin. All right. New target, Phoenix Hawk. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Alright, eight more. Hostiles inbound. Brace for contact, Commander. up with more targets converging on your position commander stay frosty oh yeah frosty is where i live target acquired target is down destroyed target destroyed new target stalker Oh yeah, it's on my tango.
New target could drop. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. Yeah. We got another drop to do. So I think we're gonna go ahead and bug out. Well, that's form on me. Fall in on the commander. Damn, that was a lot better than the last drop. Not a bad haul for salvage. The mission area is under heavy weather warning. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. Hmm. Gotta have something a little fresher there. Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. Looks like the back torso armor's a little bit thin. Let's see. Let's see what else we got here. I could definitely drop in the agent court. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and drop in the Zeus. We have the opportunity to pull off a big pair day if we can maintain this position beyond Arm what our contract stipulates, Commander. That said. Farhad will never shut up about it if you mix return to the hangar looking like Swiss cheese. Yeah. Good luck. Commander, our mutual employer has sent us to reinforce you. Lead the way. Well, that's all right. <laughs> you got help twice. I guess I should have figured we 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 got help once from these guys, we'd get help from them again, but uh Enemy forces moving in, Commander. Get ready map. for them. Close map. Alright. Like it when they deliver the targets right to the doorstep, right to our doorstep. Enemy mech approaching. New target, Centurion. Target acquired. Lance on my tango. 
Team to go. Target acquired. Well, yeah, so my tango. We'll obliterate that target and pop that blood bag inside it. Enemy destroyed. Target destroyed. Right. Bad news, Commander. More hostiles inbound on your position. Get ready for some company. Target acquired. New target, Hunchback. Target acquired. back target acquired nine more to go Yeah, you know, Ace. I think even when the uh, even when the Mercs are helping you, you still get uh, you still get credit for uh, intelligence with the uh, with the bounty hunter. I think. So yeah, if I could still get some bounty hunter credit, and I don't have to. Uh, Shoot those guys. It's fine with me. Reconnaissance flights oh. show increased enemy presence oh, sorry, in the city. <laughs> Those friendly infantry. Uh oh. New target javelin. Target acquired. Operation. Right. Additional tangos en route to your position, Commander. Package yeah. acquired. 
Yep, pretty sure I saw an assault mech down here. New target charger. I saw another assault mech over here somewhere. There it is. New target, Cyclops. Well, yeah, so much ain't go. Copy. We're on it, sir. Target acquired. Right. So keep on Great work, Commander. We have satisfied our contract <laughs> and have a narrow window to evac if you're ready. Ah. Uh. Yep. Right, that wasn't too bad. Go ahead and haul ass to the victory is ours, Commander. X Phil. Yep. So we've got rival intel rewards so any contact even if they're helping you you'll get a little bit of uh you get a little bit a little bit of points anyway hmm. Let's see what we got down here for loot so we'll go for tonnage And got a large chemical laser. Woohoo! 
And uh, locked up our last upgrade as well. It's not bad. Yep. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and go on back to the industrial hub. Looks like we're getting pretty close to quitting time. I don't think I want to uh I don't think I want to start that other Got another quest line racked up, but uh, yeah, we're already about uh, five minutes over, so I think we will probably save that for Friday. But, uh... Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad. We got a, a nice little haul for salvage here. I think before I wrap things up, we'll uh, take another look at the basilisk. So, <clears throat> so do you like, see I think I want to put, I definitely like, I think I'd like the uh, solid Do you have? I don't know. I do you have. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go. I like. I like. I like the saw. I like the solid slugs better than I do the uh, regular LBXs. I think we'll go for that. Huh. So if we do that. I think we can get by with get by with two tons of ammo and these guys don't have a lot of heat load so So if we do that, <laughs> yeah, I think we'll try that. I think that should still be adequate amounts of heating. So yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to drop we'll have to drop with that on Friday and uh,
Yeah, John, I think we're, uh, like I was saying, I think I'm about to wrap this up. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and uh, see about getting, I wanted to get the uh, Victor set up for next time. I think, yeah, I think we'll try it out with those, uh, with the uh, LBX 10s. Yeah, I think we're gonna try that. I think we're gonna try that for Friday. But yeah, I think uh, I think for now, we get everything repaired, and uh, I think we're gonna call it a stream. So appreciate everybody for uh, coming out, supporting the stream, and uh, unless. A catastrophe befalls me between now and then. I'll be back on Friday. Same Mech Warrior time. Same Mech Warrior channel. And we'll keep on making scraps out of the bad guys. But until then...